Good everyone, my name is Graphics. In this video, I'll be showing you on the difference between an eccentric circle and a concentric circle. First of all, when you talk about a circle, this is what a circle looks like. I'm going to draw a line this way. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. And I'll draw another one this way. Long short. We use this. This is these are called center lines, right? So we know center lines are used to show as uh, an object that is symmetrical. Now, if I place my compass, right? If I place my compass at any given distance here, at the center here, at any given radius, and I draw my circle this way. When I mean radius, means distance. And I'm having this. All right. I'm having this. Now, we know that a circle, now this is what the circle looks like. Now, what is a circle? A circle is a two-dimensional closed, what? Closed figure that has no edge, right? Or corners. So this is a two-dimensional closed figure. It has no edge or corner. So... When I start from, let's say this is point P, right? I must end at what point P to ensure that what it is closed. So if I start taking my measurement from here, this is what we have. So we use a radius in order to draw out what the circle, which is called the distance. So one thing you need to understand that this point through which I drew the circle is called the center of the circle, right? The center of the circle and center of the circle is the center point in the circle for which all the distances to the point on the circle are equal. So no matter what you do the center, if I measure from here to here, it will be the same thing as saying from here to here and from here to here and from here to here in any part. That's why I say circle is what? It's concentric. Now the next thing we are talking about, what is an eccentric circle? And it says circles are circles that have the same center. Now if I ensure that this is a circle I'm drawing with the same with this radius, right? If I draw another circle again through that same center, right? That is circle B. And I draw that circle again through that same center. That is what? Circle C. So I have three circles here. Let's say this is circle A. This is what? Circle B. And this is what? Circle C. Is it a circle A, circle B, or circle C? Are generated from the same center so such circles are said to be what concentric because they have the same center so concentric circles are circles that have what the same center is that taking now now the next thing we're talking about let me reproduce this same figure here now this is another circle right this is a common center here called center of the circle now, if I have three different center, let's say at this point, this is center for circle A. At this point, this is center for what? Circle B, right? Then, let's see. So, if I should take my compass, right? And I draw a circle from this point to this point. I have this, right? And I come again from this point, I draw another circle to this point here. Depend on how you want to do it. It can be at any given distance. Right? Let's say circle A and B. Now this is A and this is what? This is B. Or let's say this is A and this is B. Now, what do you notice? This circle center is this, while B circle center is this. The long one, short, long, short, long. Right? So we have two different centers the center for this circle and the center for what? This circle. Because they have two different centers. When two or more circles have different centers, right? We say that what? They are what? They are eccentric. 
Zadiki now. Circles are what? They are eccentric where they don't have the same what? The same center and they are on the same plane. So this is a concentric circle. This is what? An eccentric circle. And there's something I would like you to understand. We know very well that the external part of the circle is called what? The circumference. Right? And if you consider we have how many quadrants do you think we have here? Let me take this for instance now. Let's consider this center O. Right? And we put we want to draw a circle. Let's say the rate of the circle is given to be maybe 10 or 15. Let's say it is given to be what 20. Right? And I'm drawing so we'll call it a radius. So we'll use the radius to draw the circle. So meaning that from the center to one end point here is called what? The radius. Are we good? So from here to here is called what? The radius. So we have from here to here also is called what? The radius. So on the straight line, from one end to the other end is called what? The diameter. Is that again? From one end to the other end is called diameter. So from here to here, let me just show you from this point, from this point to this point. It's called what? The diameter. Is that okay? And so if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.